I want to warn everyone about the potential threat of uh, exploding manholes. Uh, these covers, when they explode, can go quite a f few feet in the air. When they come down, they're way between 100 to 300 pounds apiece. And so if you see a manhole that's smoking, uh, you want to stay away from it. Or re And also you want to report it if someone hasn't already reported it. But I also want to mention this morning when I dropped off my wife to work downtown Detroit that um, there was uh, there was a manhole where we got out where I opened the door there and uh, the the gas was so strong that um, it was still in my car after leaving dropping her off uh, not even you know maybe a minute going down the road it was still in the car it was that strong. But, <clears throat> folks, listen, this is an increasing danger in the United States because the infrastructure in the United States is not being maintained. And um, not only that, but when they use chloride um, and they're using uh, snow melt that has chloride in it, it, it goes down into the manholes and it creates explosions as well. Uh, because what it does is it eats away at the... Um, you know, the, the insulation, insulated wiring. Um, and before you know it, you got a fire, um, or a spark and it creates an explosion. But if you notice any manholes, uh, having a strong, uh, methane gas odor coming from it, you want to call 911 and report that. That's what I did this morning. I called 911. They took it very serious. They said they would send somebody out to take a look. These manholes are exploding all over, um, some places not even being really reported uh, as much. But New York City is notorious for this, especially in the winter. These manholes are exploding all they, I guess they even thousands of them in the winter in New York City. So this is something that you don't see every day on the news, but they do happen and they can cause serious damage. Um, but I do believe... Potentially, the United States of America is sitting on a methane bomb right now. I believe that. Um, because the infrastructure is not being tended to. Um, many of our cities are breaking down. And our city officials and those that are supposed to be handling these things are not reporting and taking care of these things and maintaining these things. And... Um, you know, if, if they would take care of these things on an ongoing basis and maintain these things year after year, then you wouldn't have such a huge problem down the road. But the problem is, is they put it off and they put it off and they put it off so that they don't have to spend that money and they have more money in their budget for other things. But I'm going to tell you right now, brothers and sisters, listen to me. There is a bomb on the United States of America right now. I'm going to tell you right now. There's a methane bomb, not just in the United States. This is going on globally right now, where, where this is potentially uh, a threat uh, to the whole earth because man is not taking the time to maintain. Uh, they put in infrastructure. They put in their pipes and all of this, but then they don't maintain it. The same thing happened here in, uh, in, in uh, Michigan with the water problem because the pipes are not being maintained. So then we have problems like we do in Flint. And listen, this is because our officials are not maintaining, okay, the infrastructure. They put it in and then they just think it's going to go on and it's going to go on and nothing's going to... No, it's going to break down over time. Hello, folks. Let's grow up. Let's stop being little children and let's be adults about this and let's take care of the infrastructure in the United States and stop uh, doing uh, spending all these billions of dollars on, on, on nonsense wars that are not even wars on false flag lying, uh, you know, these lies about uh, wars on terror when there is no war on terror. Millions and billions of dollars being spent on these things and the infrastructure in the United States of America is not being maintained, not being taken care of. I'm going to tell you again, if you go into any city or any, you see a manhole that's smoking, stay away from it, report it. But even if you smell 
gas coming from, I don't doesn't even matter where the gas is coming from. The new home my wife and I just moved into, we have a gas dryer. And one day, the first, actually the second day after moving in, we walked in the door and I smelt the strong smell of gas. And sure enough, when they put the dryer in, they didn't put it in correctly. And so we had to have that fixed, brothers and sisters. Listen, gas leaks are very, very dangerous. Are you listening? Don't take that lightly. If you smell gas in your home, get out of your home. Don't stay there. Don't play with that. Because all it takes is a spark. I know in my heart, my spirit, I know God protected my wife and I because we turned the switch on in the room where the gas was. It should have exploded for all intents purposes, but it didn't because God is merciful and he protects us. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, <laughs> sparks and, 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 and uh, fires, and uh, they don't do well with gas. Okay, you, you should know that. And our city officials in the United States and those in government, they should be more, uh, this needs to be something that needs to be addressed immediately. We need to have this addressed immediately. In fact, the president of the United States, whether it be Donald Trump or whoever it's going to be, needs to put this in place immediately. Because, look, I don't care how fancy his tower is in, in New York City. What if a manhole is not the end of this? What if it turns into cities, literally, uh, literally? What if it turns into buildings like his own building going down in the ground because of a methane gas leak underneath his building? Mr. Trump, please address this situation. Please don't make light of this. Folks, we need, if you know somebody that works for the city or that works for, that is connected to, uh, you know, city officials or something, listen, we need to do something about this. This is a serious, serious business, okay? This is nothing to play with. And maybe I'm warning before it even happens. Maybe it's going to happen because man's not going to do anything about it. But I tell you these things before they come to pass. Fearful sights are coming. Things are coming, people, because man does not take the time to maintain. Because they put things into place, but they don't take care of it afterwards. No, maintenance is a huge part of anything we do. We've got to maintain it. You've got to take care of something. Just like our own uh, salvation, brothers and sisters, you and I got to maintain that every day. Amen? You and I have got to continually uh, pray and continually stay in God's word and continually we've got to feed, amen, and, and to mature in Christ. This idea that you get saved and you get it all and you don't have to do anything. No, you got to maintain that. You got to stay saved. You got to stay right with the Lord. Yes, we do have a part, amen. So again, going back to this idea you know, with the cities being in potential harm's way. Uh, and, and I and I say this is a serious risk. I would put this on a scale between, on a scale of one to 10, I would say that the danger of these gas leaks in the United States, this methane bomb that the United States is potentially sitting upon, is on a nine right now. On a scale nine, uh, uh, one to 10, I would say that the United States is on a nine and this should be an absolute high alert, red alert, um, and this needs to be addressed. This needs to be addressed. Again, if you listen to this message and you know somebody that can get something done, if you know someone, you know, maybe we need to just start writing letters to our government. We need to write letters to our local officials, but something needs to be done because we are sitting on a potential bomb. Are you listening? We're sitting on a potential methane bomb in the United States of America. This is serious. This is very serious. I was very, I was afraid for my wife's life when I smelt that gas, okay? I wouldn't say that it's potential to blow up the building she's working in, but it could get that bad. Now, when I saw... How serious the person on nine, that when I called 911, when I called 911, when I saw how serious they took it, 
that they were going to send somebody out right away. Now listen, they don't have to send someone out. They could just say they're going to. But when I sensed the soberness and seriousness of this individual, I thought, oh, this is in good hands. This person's going to contact the right people and they're going to go out and they're going to take a look at this. Brothers and sisters, we need to watch. Be watchful. Are you listening? Be watchful. Jesus wasn't saying just watch and pray because, you know, just it's because of some kind of metaphor. No, we need to be alert. We need to be awake. We need to be alert of our surroundings. We need to not just be going through our day with our heads in the sand. Amen. Because there's terrorists around us. Yes, there are. There are Muslims on this in this country right now that are ready, just ready to kill, ready to take down, um, just waiting for the signal. I'm going to tell you, we're living in perilous times, okay? Let's not just go through life uh, with our heads in the sand. Everything's fine. No, we are in the most dangerous days of, 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 of this world. This is the most dangerous time. Perilous times have come. We are in that hour of perilous times when there are earthquakes in divers places. I'm going to tell you another thing. What can cause tremendous problems in the United States of our infrastructure is when an earthquake takes place. And it doesn't have to take place in the area where the problem erupts in another area. We could have an earthquake of the size of seven, a 7.2 or 7, you know, something on that scale on the other side of the earth in an effect on the us in the United States. So when you hear of a tremendous earthquake going on in another part of the world, you can know that it, it could potentially cause a problem in our country. Um, I don't know altogether if it was connected or not, but when one day, my uh, one evening, my wife and I were in Canada, on the other side of Detroit, not very far from Detroit in Michigan, and we were just out by the water one evening, and we saw all of a sudden a ripple go through the water. Well, this is a lake, and it's at the middle in the middle of the night. There's no reason for this huge ripple or wave to go down through the water. Well, we found out that uh, the next day we found out that that night there was an earthquake in Canada. So I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters, God would have you and I to be awake and sober and watching, amen, and praying, praise God. Don't take things lightly. Don't take your life for granted and don't take salvation for granted. If the world is going to sleep and sticking their head in the sand, we need to be awake, amen. We need to be warning officials. We need to be doing our part. That's just like me warning you of uh, Donald Trump. I don't think he's who you think he is, people. I'm going to tell you, he will sacrifice this country for his own pocketbook. He'll do it. And he is doing it. Look how many businesses he just opened with Saudi Arabia just since he's become be, been running for president. Like 15 or 20 different things are going on right now with him, his company in Saudi Arabia. You don't think that he's going to do favors for them? You don't think he's going to do favors for himself? You don't think he's using that position for power, for his own wealth and his own, uh, you know, for his own agenda? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. One of the biggest things that Donald Trump is concerned with, I'm going to tell you right now, and he only spoke a little bit about it while he was running for president, is one thing he's concerned about. And that's deregulation. Why does he want to deregulate? So that he can build his empire. That's why. He wants to get rid of regulations. I'm not saying regulations are good when it's overregulated, but that's his main reason for being in the White House, to deregulate. That's what he's doing. He's concerned about himself. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about the American people. All Donald Trump cares about is himself, and that's pretty evident. Anyway, I didn't mean to go too long here. I just wanted to bring these things to your attention. We need to be awake, alert, and watching and praying. God bless you.